All right, how you doing? This is, uh, I'm Bob Hoover from Lisbon, Ohio. And my wife disappeared, but anyway, Cinnamon. And uh, this is my 1977 Dodge van called the Desert Lady. Uh, it started life out here in Maine, up in Maine, uh, by John and Ellen Peters. And it moved on to Indiana and then a third owner in Ohio. And I am the fourth owner. I bought it in uh, early October of last year. Uh, this is my third van nationals. I've only been vanning for three years and we're hooked and we love it. I also have another van. It's a 75 Dodge camper van. And, uh, but this is our baby, the desert lady. Um, we tried to leave it as original as we could from the first owners. The inside's still all original. It's done with a uh, uh, cactus from Baja, Mexico. It has what they call van trick grill. It was put on back in the late 70s. I think they made them in 77 and 78. Uh, aftermarket fiberglass hood scoop, which is functional. And then all the flares and everything. Everything that you see was done in the late 70s, in 77, 78, when uh, the original owners had it. It has dual sunroofs, uh, obviously, and then uh, both functional, and they both have uh, screens in them, so it keeps the bugs out when you're sleeping at night. And uh, this is, uh, the murals are original from the 70s, late 70s. And the way they became put on here is they met a guy that was down on his luck and did this kind of work. And they let him live in the garage for a few months. And this is how he paid them back by doing the artwork on the outside of the van. And a lot of people think the owl's a little creepy, but I, I think it's kind of a neat little thing inside the cactus there. And, uh, the van was super solid other than the sunroof area. We had to replace metal in the sunroof area, but the yellow was uh, badly sunned and chipped and uh, very dull and dirty and we couldn't get it clean. We tried wet sanding it like we did the murals. And so we actually had to redo the yellow and we tried to redo the stripes as close to the original that was put on in the 70s. And that was done uh, over this past Christmas. We did the uh, yellow and stripes. The running boards, uh, low income, my friend had, and we just cut them up and put them on because the other ones were rotted so bad. But those are just running boards we threw on for now. The rims, or the original rims that uh, Mr. and Mrs. Peters had back then, other than the, the tires we had to replace, of course. But, but the rims and uh, the hubcaps are different because they had a different style hubcap and they lost one. I never was able to find the other style, but I, the guy before me found the, the hubcaps for these, so. All right, that's the original sign from Mr. and Mrs. Peters. Uh, they had it back then, and uh, they had that custom made and tells who done the artwork and where they were from and uh, everything. And the etching was all done by them back in the day. And then the third owner, his, his last name was Oaks, and they called him Oakley, and that's what the O is for. I left that, just something little from each owner. The O, the o is his last name for Oakley. Uh -huh. And then when you saw the sunroof, you probably saw an eight ball. The uh, second owner had a van that he loved shooting pool and stuff, and his nickname was eight ball, and he put an eight ball sticker on everything. So I left the eight ball sticker for him. I tried to leave a little bit of everybody on this that have owned it. And then this is just the other side with the murals that was done back then. The name is Desert Lady. Uh, we had to redo this also when we had it painted. And uh, a couple weeks ago, a guy in a van with a 69 Dodge van, his name's Thin Man. He does airbrushing and painting and all this. Well, I saw him at the Hot Rod Super Nationals in Canfield, but uh, he's the one that did that for me. And so it got her name back on her, and which was the main thing. Yeah, louvers on the back windows there. Yes, the, the louvers, these were put on by the third owner because the second owner didn't know nothing about it. But it has the edge glass hidden now, but. Yeah, the louvers is the only thing that's been really added on the outside as far as aftermarket stuff. All right, the doors, the interior, it's got the suede trim on the sides here and stuff. And uh, 
they have latches so they don't open all the way, but yet the wind won't blow them closed unless you really push on them. And then the windows do have the pop-outs with the screens so you don't get bugs when you're sleeping. The doors, that's all cactus from Baja, Mexico. And all the doors have that around the edges and where you step in and stuff. And then you have your normal bar with your sink and your cabinets where we store our clothing or whatever and a couple bottles of wine if no one's busy later. Now up above that it's a fiber optic mirror. It's a sunset and still works, still lights up. And then it's uh, trimmed with also with uh, cactus from Baja, Mexico. And then there's also cactus on the dash when you see that. Okay, the dash also has trim work from, cac from cactus. And then the console is your, uh, has the lights for your mirror and then your bed lights. It also has a bar light and then the fog lights, the alarm system for the van, and your Cobra CB radio. And then it also has the gauge that tells how your uh, backup marina battery's charging and stuff. The stuff around the bed here, this is actually chamois, like you dry your car off with. The second owner's wife cut all this up and made these and added beads to it to give it kind of a western look and uh, give you a little somewhat privacy for your bed. Yeah, and then this is a storage unit. You have to lift up and there's two little pull things you pull out and then it drops and pulls out and you're able to get the stuff here or from the back of the van also. Okay, and then up there, that's a, a, a plaque that was made for the original owners, John and Ellen Peters, and it says the Desert Lady. And I left that there for them. Of course, the, all the cabinets from them. All right, the inside, as you can see, the doors have the suede with the buttons. Uh, all doors have that. And then the interior's done, but the roof's done with a white suede. And then we also, the moon roof I was telling you about with the screen. It has a cigarette outlet over to your left there for cell phone charging nowadays. <laughs> and then the lights in the back here also light up. And they're done, they're done with like a yarn to give it like the shade. And then of course the bed and then underneath the beds where we keep our storage, our tools, safety stuff and cleaning equipment of course and whatever else you might need. And then a 12 volt marina battery goes on this side and then the uh, charging system for it's on the left so it is somewhat self-contained. <laughs> Okay, and then this is my wife, Cinnamon. She ran away earlier, but she's back, and uh, she's helped do a lot of cleaning and everything, and my sidekick, and driven a little bit here, a little nervous, but she made it. And then uh, right now we had to open up the hood because it's being judged right now for the van show. These inserts are Velcroed in. Whenever we get to a show, we Velcro them in, and it's the same material as all the doors have and the walls have, just to kind of add it all. And uh, just a 318 two barrel, which motors down the highway nice. And that's it. It's being judged, and hopefully we do good. And uh, love all the vans that are here. We want everybody to keep on trucking 2%. And uh, thank you for filming this, and hopefully you get to see this and a lot of other of the vans on the uh, videos that they're making today. So thank you for having me in the van. Good luck with it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.